next we can close the grass i don't think we're going to be needing the diffuse or the wire color so we'll move on to the lighting reflection refraction shadows and extra text so we'll start with the extra text this one you know i think there's some nice things happening here in definition the wall probably is not ideal but we can mask that out the trees i think has some nice sort of shadows so i'm going to duplicate this layer right click on the layer and i'm going to send it to the psd file and then i'm going to call this ao for ambient occlusion there we go and then i can close this i don't need it i'm going to go to my psd and this one i'm going to sit all the way at the top i do want to mask but let's see what it looks like right so the ao pass the ambient occlusion pass usually i multiply and you can see you know sort of the difference and I'm looking for things like here where the glass meets the wood wall. I think it's missing probably a mullion, but you know, even that's giving us a nice edge around the wood, hitting the concrete. The trees are getting a little bit better, shadows, but obviously the wall areas are not working very well for me. So I can see what I have to work with. Simple on this one, I think we'll just do a quick mask and then I wouldn't go too crazy or specific on what we need to mask again this is just sort of an enhancement pass so it doesn't have to be you know perfect you won't notice these sort of adjustments too much i don't think we want any ao on this wall so we'll bring that back to life same for that zone over there i don't think we want to mess with our building on this side too much and then you know obviously right now we're multiplied 100 percent opacity we don't have to be that far I think we just need a little bit of ambient occlusion to kind of bring up a little bit of detail and we can pump it up a little bit more something like that right just a little bit of detail on the trees a little bit of lines there so that's helping mm -hmm. 